On this channel, we love taking a look at the alternatives VR can be used for rather than, you know, just using it for gaming. However, we haven't yet taken a look at one of the most important things that VR headsets are used for when you're not gaming on them. And that's kind of like the chill out aspect of them. The media aspect. Thousands of people are using their virtual reality headsets to project massive displays in front of them and watch movies. Whether it's on your own or with friends, this is a massive aspect of VR. So what is up everyone, I'm Mystical, and today we're going to be taking a look at all the different methods you can use to watch media on your headset. So first, we're gonna jump right in to probably one of the most popular methods for watching media on your headset, and that is big screen VR. Big screen is well known nowadays, especially since they have created the big screen beyond, the smallest VR headset in the world. However, today that's not what we're going to be taking a look at. We're taking a look at their big screen app, which I have been using for years now. Big screen has gone through multiple different updates, now allowing people on standalone Quest headsets sets to stream YouTube directly to a massive screen in front of them. And the best aspect of big screen, you can host rooms, meaning you can also invite your friends to watch the movies with you. There's multiple different environments that you can choose from to create an ambiance or just chill out. And a massive display is always right there in front of you, ready to stream whatever you like. And if you have a PC, you can even stream your desktop right there onto the big screen. This is definitely one of the most popular ones out there, especially if you want to do social media watching. However, there is also another one here, if you are into the multiplayer aspect of things, and that is, of course, VR chat. The amount of movie nights that have been hosted inside VR chat and the amount of rooms inside VR chat that allow you to invite your friends over and watch something on a big screen is amazing. It's actually huge. And even just like the standard rooms, like the Room of the Rain, which I visit quite a bit because I like the ambiance there, have a movie screen for you to watch stuff on. A lot of these do only allow you to input YouTube URLs, which might not be perfect for everyone, since not everyone wants to watch something on YouTube. Some people might want to watch something on Disney Plus or Netflix or something like that. However, there are rooms that would allow you to do that as well, even though it is slightly more tricky. In big screen, this becomes a lot easier, especially if you have a computer so you can stream your favorite streaming site to the big screen. However, what if you're not into multiplayer? What if you just want to watch inside your headset on your own? Well, Meta has you covered here, as you can sideload apps to the Quest, whatever you like. If there isn't a virtual reality application for it, you can sideload it. And in case you haven't seen my video on that, check it out right up here. YouTube VR does exist, however. So if you just want to watch some YouTube videos on your own inside a black screen or just lay down and watch it on the ceiling, the YouTube VR app has you covered. Just download Download that and you can watch on your own wherever you are. Netflix does also have a virtual reality application allowing you to do the exact same thing. Disney Plus, however, this is where your problems might begin. You will need to find a Disney Plus APK, download it, and install it right there onto your headset. That will also allow you to now resize the display into any size you like. However, it's not a native application, so you won't get nice environments or anything like that around you. You will have to either install a custom environment or use one of the ones Meta provides. But that's not a big problem. And for many, this might just be the way to go, especially since there are thousands of amazing custom environments that you can install nowadays, and I feel like I should make an updated video on those as well. That, and of course you can always just use big screen VR, which has Disney Plus built in, as well as Twitch and Prime Video, and I promise this isn't an ad for big screen VR. You can, however, always just give up on using applications and use the built-in Meta browser. This will also allow you to resize the size of your display and use pass-through while you're at it as well, so this might just be the easier option for a lot of you. You can also, of course, just copy copy mp4 files directly to your headset and watch them from there, in case you are not going to have internet access or just want to have something local that isn't necessarily on the internet. This used to be as simple as playing them directly from the Quest Media Player, however that doesn't seem to work for me anymore, so I now require a maze and a video player sideloaded onto the headset in order to be able to play these mp4 files. However, once I have that, they work just as well as they used to. But let me know down below if you're having the same problem. And here's one fantastic little thing that not a lot of people know about. You may be saying to yourself, why on earth would I waste my Quest storage 
for movies, if I'm already running out of space with all these VR games? Well, the thing is, the Quest can actually take OTG storage. So, if you get yourself an OTG adapter, and a hard drive or a USB drive, you can plug it in to the Quest via that USB-C port. Then you can browse any files that are on said drive. Meaning, you don't need to take up your Quest storage with local movies or videos, all you need to do is plug in an external drive. And all of a sudden, you have a lot more storage even for your Quest screen recordings. This is handy not just for movies. And you may be asking yourself, why on earth would you prefer watching a movie with a clunky headset on your head rather than just sitting in front of a TV and doing it that way? The ambiance just isn't there for everyone. Some people prefer sitting on a couch and watching on a TV in front of them with their popcorn to the side and their friends around them. And that's all well and good. However, sometimes you just don't have the ability to do that. With virtual reality, you can basically get the same ambiance with people around the world. Say you have family in a different country, and they have a VR headset. All of a sudden, they can be teleported right next to you, you guys can sit on a couch together and watch on a massive screen in front of you. However, that might not be the case. And while that is a fantastic use for media watching together, bringing people together from all around the world, that's great, that's all well and good, but sometimes you just want to watch on a massive screen where you don't have the ability to do so. For example, ever since I've got my first virtual reality headset, one thing that I found myself doing is watching on a massive screen in front of me with some headphones on, on an airplane. That is something that I couldn't do until I got a VR headset. All I could possibly do is prop up a phone in front of me, watch whatever I'm watching, put on my headphones, and have everyone around me judge whatever I'm watching while I'm at it, which is just always fantastic. With a VR headset, not only can they not see what you're watching, but you're also watching on an amazingly large screen as well. I mean, there's no negatives there. And now with VR headsets becoming smaller and lighter, and I'm pointing to the Quest Pro here, which I can barely touch in my limited play space, these things are becoming a lot easier to take around with you. The Pico 4 is an absolutely tiny device that you could definitely throw into a backpack and take with you. It's not as clunky and large and uncomfortable as it used to be, and the Quest Pro is even smaller and now with pass-through mode enabled, you can even overlay a massive display in front of you in your living room, if you feel like doing that as well. And with shared point clouds, in the future you and your friends could be sitting on the same couch staring at the same massive display in front of you while still seeing each other, with color pass-through enabled. But we would prefer better color pass-through for that to happen. But yeah, with the ability to sideload apps now, and a lot of native apps existing like YouTube VR and Netflix VR, as well as big screen or VR chat, media watching for those that own a VR headset has been changed forever, especially for those that might want to be watching with family or friends that are in a completely different part of the world. And I'm speaking from experience here. But that is going to be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, please do leave a like, it costs you nothing and it helps the channel out a lot. If you disliked it, I guess this button works too, but let me know why down below. If you guys are not yet part of the community, check out the Discord, check out the Reddit down below where I want to see you posting your spicy memes. And thank you so, so much to all the Patreons. Those names are going off to my right right now you guys are helping me out so much and i do not know how to thank you enough and as usual if you want to be notified about future content coming up on the channel make sure to smack the subscribe button with your forehead dig my bell and see you again in the next video peace